Uh, thank you so much. My name is um, Comrade Jay Emmanuel. Uh, as you can see, electricity matters has really been a very disastrous issue in the heart of the poor masses. With the situation on board in Nigeria nowadays, people are still suffering. Electricity. Why will industry stay? Because there's no light. Why will poor man be available to feed their family, even with electricity? Because there is no light. We are paying money and we are suffering. We are paying money. We are buying light and we are suffering. We are buying light and we are suffering. We are buying light and we are suffering. Can you imagine the Minister of Power was saying that they want to remove, they want to remove what? Subsidy on electricity. The light that people are not even still using, you still want to remove subsidy on it? We pay for the light, but we don't, you they, the they don't render the service. You know the funny thing? So many, so many neighboring countries are tapping from Nigerian light and their light is stable. And we are suffering the problem. And you are still want to remove subsidy. What are you removing? So you even want to close down. So initially, automatically, you want to close down, close down this nation. Light. Light. Light generating, generating country. It is very, this, 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 this is a very, this, uh, a very, uh, what's it called, a painful situation on ground. The government are sleeping. The government are sleeping. There is no proper monitoring and check and balancing. Poor masses are hungry. Poor masses are lamenting. Look at this light issue in my area. Just of recent, we marched down to uh, one of the uh, what's it called one of the Ikeji Electricity Office, and once we marched down there with the youth, point out their mind that yes, we are passing through this. That enough is enough. This and that. They need to calm us down. And tell us all sorts of stories that are uh, it is because of the relief that has not been uh, uh, the step down they're supposed to bring in one particular place that makes the, this thing to be low overload and there is overload somewhere this and that they are working on it since last year they told us they are working on it this year those guys together again they marched to that place they say we should write a letter to KJ Electricity we forwarded a letter to KJ Electricity at the end of the day there is no feedback I was in my house last week. When we have an instable of light within the sort of two hours, they bring the light almost like 15 times. One of my gadgets goes for it. I need to chat on the platform that you people you are seeing now, light you know bring. The one way it still brings up, don't spoil our gadget for house. That's what I say on the platform, they remove me. What are we suffering from? Poor masses are suffering. Do you want to keep poor masses? Why? Hear the cry of the poor masses. Don't stay in Abuja, dear, and just be seen from afar. Feel the pain of the poor people. Feel the pain of the poor people. Light is an illumination. If there is no light in a the nation, there won't be growth. If there is no light in a the nation, there won't be growth. You people are shouting Dubai, Qatar today, Saudi Arabia, all those countries today. If their light system are not working, there won't be growth. Check it very well. Electricity goes a long way. Electricity is different from generator. Electricity is different from solar. What power can produce? Electricity, what it can, where it can go, is more, more better than all this light generating system, like solar or um, generator or something like that. Give us electricity. Give us electricity. Formulate a policy that will make electricity stable in Nigeria. For the common man to be able to produce, to sell their market. Even people that learn hand work now, most of people that learn hand work, now Nigerian people are depending on learn, uh, hand work. The tailoring aspect, the uh, what's it called, uh, building aspect, aluminum aspect, all sorts of, uh, what's it called, means on hand work. 99% of hand work now depends on electricity. And the electricity is not available. Oh, oh, we are even talking about electricity. The food that food for common man is not available. Talk less of electricity. Let us tell ourselves the reality. Nigerians are suffering. Nigerians are passing through pain. Nigerians are crying. 
average hungry man are lamenting. People cannot be people are afraid of everyday needs. Families are not met. You know, this is not a this is not this is not uh what's it called? They call it uh some people will call uh the warfare from the battle from your father's house or your mother's house. There is no battle from either father's or mother's house anymore. This is battle from the governments. This is battle we are facing, unseen battle. This is the modern slavery in our father's land. A modern slavery in our father's land. Let's tell ourselves the reality. It is visible for the blind man to see. And it is audible for the deaf man to hear. My people, I know one day, the kingdom of God sovereign violence and the violence take it by force. Right from the John the Baptist. I'm telling you, we are being pushed to the wall. And the so-called the military in Nigeria are even passing through the same heat. So the military are going to send out when protests start, they will not even answer you. I'm telling you something today, mark my words. The military you are going to send out during that protest, they will not come to your rescue. They will face you back because the people they are meant to protect, you are sending them to go and kill them. They will say no this time around. Honestly, the chief of defense staff, of course, uh, lamented that uh, some bodies deposited in the military mortuary are decomposing. I mean, because of uh, no electricity. You can imagine as big as that institution. Isn't that an upfront, an insult on the Nigerians' uh, faces? It will surely happen. <laughs> Common man uh, 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 was uh, lamenting of electricity. <laughs> What do you expect the military and uh, what government is also lamenting? So you see everything is 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 it's upside down. The workforce of Nigerian are lamenting the military, the parliamentary are lamenting of lights. So can you see that they are using their weapon to face themselves? The military that you are made to use as a weapon to face even the common man that are hungry, they are even lamenting now. So they are ready to face you back. So it is better you beware before this thing face you back. Are you sure the militaries are ready? Yeah. Militaries are hungry, my brother. Militaries are hungry. Militaries have family. Militaries have blood on their vein. Militaries are not animals. Militaries are human beings. Militaries are hungry. Militaries have families. But they have to obey the last command, even when, when they are hungry. When you obey the last command, and at the end of the day, the command self is not obeying. The command and obey self don't mix up. It will turn upside down. I'm telling you, there is nothing command. There is nothing. See, in recent times, I want Nigeria to understand that this you, you to obey the clarion call. This your NYC you to obey the clarion call. There is no clarion call anymore. The nation is upside down. Except for the clarion call of uh, revolution. I'm telling you, the clarion call has turned upside down. Revolution is coming. People are lamenting. Can't you see? Even the military are lamenting. Can't you see? Can't you see? Let's tell ourselves the reality. You don't have to shout. You don't have to, you don't have to sweat unnecessary. Nigerians are passing through stuff every day and night. People are walking, going like mad people without no job. We come outside here, yeah, sometimes people will say, ah, they don't have job. If they have job, most of we, thousands of people will not be coming out. People will be living, look at international countries. Many neighboring countries have gone back to their country. You can imagine uh, CFAS, uh, no, here. Oh. one CFAS, uh, uh, CFAS is, is, is 1,300. I said that many of these neighboring countries, including Seme, all these people, Togo, they have gone back to their country because their country has been stable. Their money has been so valuable than our money. Honestly, one thousand. One safer is one thousand three hundred naira. Don't deceive. Don't 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 lament. Don't lament. We are far from our position, my brother. We are far from our position. Is he is going to be going? Is he is going to be going? You come in. I, I was saying this government. A bad leader is a bad leader. I'm telling you. There is no excuse for failure. There is no excuse for failure. You are dealing with number seven most populated country in, in the whole world and number one most populous country in Africa. Going hungry like this every day and night. No light. 
no food, no road, no job. In fact, no water, nothing, nothing. If you go to hospital, no good health, no, no companies. All the means, all the means of livelihood, there is nothing. Can they come out and tell us one thing that they have done for the common man? Look at the food that they are distributing at 10,000 Naira. Look at the crowd that even have their money to buy the food. Honestly, how many people have access to it? About two persons died, was stampede. I'm telling you, that's just little you know. Do you know how many people that have died of hunger? That's just little you know. Do you know how many people that have died of hunger? Let's tell ourselves the reality. Government make availability of all this necessity, please and please, before the Clarion Court talks to you. Because if it turns to you, it, it, you have nowhere to run to. Yes, the poor masses are really hungry. The poor masses are really hungry. The poor masses, I repeat, are really hungry. I'm telling you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, yeah. Congress, for your brilliant and uh, thank you so much. brave thank submissions you. here. Thank you so much. God bless you for these brave submissions. Do appreciate, esteemed Congress.